whether dry or wet, we lace our kicks and get on the wet grass to kick the ball the same. So when the sky arrives, as it is prone to do every day, whether with sun or clouds, shower or storm, and as assuredly as the roses that bloom in June and the raindrops that float down and fall do, whether it's one other person's shoulders beside you, or 11 on the green, or 25,000 large and loud and loving in the stands, we do too. We, we do, do too. too, says Oregon's Poet Laureate in a video put out by the Timbers today. It'll give you chills. A call to action to show up for the Portland Timbers tomorrow when they play for the MLS Cup. It is 10 o'clock here on Portland CW. And now we're getting closer to kickoff at Providence Park. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Elizabeth Din. Jeff Gianola has the night off. An exciting time for the Rose City and the preparations, they are underway. Thousands of people expected to flood downtown for the game in and out of Providence Park. Portland police say that they have plans in place to handle the crowds. The Multnomah County Sheriff's Office also adding staff for this weekend. Our Jennifer Dowling going beyond the headlines tonight with a closer look. That's as law enforcement and locals plan for a big weekend, a really big weekend, Jennifer. Yeah, it's a huge one, and we talked to a couple of bartenders who've been working at a Timbers hangout on West Burnside for years, and they don't know exactly what's going to happen. Nobody really does, but they say with COVID restrictions finally lifted and this being a cause for celebration, who knows? They say people could take to the streets. Being an official Timbers bar, we're already expecting a lot of traffic. At Marathon Taverna on West Burnside, the anticipation has been building for Saturday's MLS Cup Final at Providence Park. It's definitely all hands on deck situation. We haven't hosted a MLS Cup Final before, so I think we're expecting record numbers. It's not just bars and restaurants making preparations. Portland police are also aware that thousands of people are streaming into the city for the game. It's something that Lieutenant Jake Jensen discussed during a Pearl District Neighborhood Association meeting Thursday. I've been in many of those planning meetings. We're expecting about 3,000 folks to descend from New York to root for the New York uh, Soccer Club. Sergeant Kevin Allen told Coin6 this afternoon that police are aware of this larger scale event and will have contingency plans in place for public safety issues. Lieutenant Jensen also says the crowds may remain through the weekend. There are going to be quite a few more people in downtown in the Pearl District, potentially in Old Town and some other parts of the city, uh, probably starting really tonight into Sunday. The staff at the Marathon say win or lose, they're happy the Timbers made it this far, and they say it's bringing new life to the city. Either way, we're going to be stoked with the outcome because we made it a lot further than I think we anticipated. We are very excited because this is really, I feel like revamping the neighborhood a little bit after such a tough couple years. That's honestly, it like warms my heart that this is, this is exactly what we need. We need some positivity. And a spokesperson for the Multnomah County Sheriff's Office says, although Portland police are taking the lead on this event, they are hiring additional staff. They will mostly be posted at transit stops and along the way on those transit routes. Reporting live in Portland, Jennifer Dowling, Coin 6 News.